Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're looking at free Windows cleanup tool. Let's get right into it. It's going to take a bit. Uh, we're going to compare to CQLean as we go along because that's the most popular question. So what you want to do before you start is come down to your tools and your options. Let's start with the options. And just pick through here. Remember, once you do this, you won't have to do it again. Uh, you can wipe files, as you can see here, by overwriting. Neat option. Will run slower. Create a system restore point. Not a bad idea. Uh, select cookies you can save. Set up a scheduler. See, Cleaner now charges for this. A boss key. Yeah, yeah. No, not really sure why. And registry items for ignore list if you want to skip stuff. We have a Windows backup here. Click, click, click. Never does anything for me. So if you need Windows backup, open Windows backup. Back up the full registry. Always a good idea. As you can see, I've already done so. So let's overwrite it. And you just wait about a minute and it will finish up. And while I normally come to this later, we're here, so let's finish up. There's an index.dat viewer, something I've never really played around with, so I'm not going to waste your time there. I don't quite know why or why I'd bother. And then there's your startup. Here's your startup program file and location. If there was anything here, because I don't have anything, you could delete the entry. Unlike CCleaner, it lacks a disable the startup item. So if you weren't sure and wanted to disable it and reboot and make sure it was something you didn't want you don't have that option so now let's get into the program there's your cleaner once again as I mentioned earlier you have to spend a little bit of time setting this up unlike CCleaner it sets up a safe conservative clean for you this one you have to pick it it doesn't even decide if you have Internet Explorer if you have Edge if you have Opera Fire I don't have any of those I do have Chrome so we can decide what we want to save so once again it's just going to take you a few minutes go under the advanced see I don't have Google toolbar MSN toolbar yeah I'd like it to detect but again one time Microsoft Office all the stuff I don't have applications I'd like to see a little mouse over here to tell me what it's doing but exactly fast mode this will check or uncheck and show you everything or the simple mode will just give you a summary. We'll start with a summary while we run it. Let's do a test. As you can see, there's just these little bits here. So once you're happy, much like CCleaner, hit clean, and you'll see a lot of details in there. Again, I've already cleaned it once because I made a run at this earlier, so that doesn't work. But normally, under here, it would show you every single thing that was removed with fast mode off. So for the most part, you probably don't need it. Registry, as you know, we're not big fans of playing with a registry. I don't think you should clean it, but we did back it up. So uh, to jump ahead of myself before we get to the defrag registry, if you haven't done it in a while and you've got it back up, then go ahead just to slim down the size of it before you defragment it. Now, defragging the registry is interesting. Most of us believe that while cleaning a registry could only cause problems and solve nothing or improve anything, Defragmenting your registry could help. So we could do an analyze, and when you're done, it will give you the size, the new registry size if you were to run it, the reduction, and the percentage. Now, the first time I ran it, pretty clean install, it's 2.4%. So odds are, if you're looking at this, you're going to want to defrag your registry if you've never done it before. So their advice here is good not to do it. So let's take a look. We can click on registry defrag, and I'm going to tell you why I don't do it. There's nothing here to see. When you do that, it's going to reboot your computer and come back up, and the program will be closed. There's no interface, nothing to see. It just does it. So I will skip that so we don't reboot. But, you know, just use a little common sense. I think when you do the analyze, when it tells you what you should do, I think you should follow it because so far what I've found has been accurate. And frankly, that's about it. Once you've got everything done the way you want, as you can see, if I close it, let's start it back up. You can see that everything I checked is saved. So you want to compare it to CCleaner. It's a tough one. It, you know, it's got a scheduler if you want it. It's got the registry defrag. It's got a couple of things it does, and it's always a difficult comparison. It's up to you. It does have the startup manager. Very difficult comparison, but... Now you can see how it works. It's up to you. There is no portable version. Always bums me out. You know that. And that's it. Free Windows cleanup tool. And I'll have to put a link into the uh, video just because it's if you Google free Windows cleanup tool, you know, who knows where you'll end up. So 
Well, that's it. As always, we thank you for watching. Please click subscribe, blah, blah, blah. See you next time.